Hi, my name is Debbie and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I wanted to share five things that I have done during the lockdown. This could be five things that you could still do during the lockdown if you're still finding yourself in lockdown. Well, let's hope this doesn't happen again. But if there is a lockdown in the future, you could try these things out yourself. The first thing I've been doing during this lockdown is reading, catching up on reading. I love reading. There's two sets of books that I've been reading. The first, just novels that I enjoy. I've read a lot of books, I'm not gonna lie. Like I said, I really enjoy reading, but the ones that I've read, I'm just gonna show you like three. I really wanted to read Memoirs of a Geisha. I've always heard of it, never actually read it, and the book is good. I love thrillers. I'm a big fan of crime stories. I don't know why, I just do. So this one was one that I had brought just before lockdown in Waterstones. It's called Girl Last Scene. It's good. Like I said, I'm deep into any um, thriller, crime sort of thing. So those are my favorite. And one that I'm currently reading and just almost finishing is P.S. I Love You. So I had seen the movie, love the movie. So I wanted to actually read the book because most of the times the book is better than the movie. Right now, I think I got so used to the movie that I'm trying to accept the book but I love it as well. Then there's also the other side of books that are good for growth. Two books I recommend. First, this one. It's called Girl Defined. It's by Kristen Clark and Bethany Bear. Bayard, sorry. But it's really good if you are a woman trying to know what's the definition of womanhood. I totally recommend it. The first chapter hit me hard. I'll put some links below. Maybe you can get it from there. Another one that I also read and is really good if you want to kind of just educate yourself in relationships is this one. Michael Todd relationship goals brought it and it's really good so if you ever want to know what a relationship is meant to look like or what you should expect what you should be like you know just to aim for those relationship goals totally recommend that one as well as you can see i've been doing a lot of reading bear in mind there's way more books than just these ones okay <laughs> the second thing i actually did during the lockdown was take up a skincare routine which i had never done before i was one of those girls that kind of just assumed to wash in your face once a week maybe not once a week that's a bit too much but just washing your face was fine i didn't really take care of my skin so did a little bit of research into that and came up with my own skincare routine that three things i found that are really important first of all is obviously washing your face uh making sure you remove any makeup for any girls who wear makeup the second thing is to always moisturize and the one i found really interesting was after you put in the moisturizer always put sunscreen and now, I always thought sunscreen was for when there was sun or if you're like on holiday, but apparently it's really good for your skin and it helps protect it. So a tip right there, always put sunscreen and then after your sunscreen, you can start putting on your makeup. I'm going to share with you guys some of the stuff that I've been using for my skincare. I'm not saying I know everything guys, like I don't know. This is what I've been doing and it's been working for me so far. I don't really spend a lot of money, mostly because I don't have a lot of money to spend on skincare routine or really expensive cream. So I actually use this tea tree facial wash. It's from Asda. You can just see that right there it's simple to use you just kind of pump it twice put it all over your face and great results it's for oily skin in which i tend to have a bit of an oily skin this is really great not that expensive you can find it in asta which is great after this like i said you put your face cream and my face cream right now is l'oreal triple active it's for dry and sensitive skin which seems a bit but my face does in some areas get dry so it's actually really good i've been using it so you can just see that and obviously like i told you really interesting tip is sunscreen brought this one and use it after my cream this and then makeup if i'm gonna wear makeup but even if you don't wear makeup always wear this just a heads up out of all these things the most expensive one was the sunscreen for some reason but you know it's worth taking care of your skin as i found out i also began to wear masks <laughs> at least once or twice a week 
they're actually really good and they're quite fun to just put on and feel um, all pampered so it's really fun to do also during this time trying to find the right makeup that works for my skin I've had the problem where because I've never grew up with makeup around the house my mother is naturally beautiful so she doesn't need anything but I kind of enjoyed it I kind of like just like creating and I guess because I'm creative I like just painting my face um, not like a clown sometimes I do look like one but I didn't really know you know what the type of color was for me so I, I went through a whole phase where I brought the wrong kind of color concealer uh, foundation but during this time I've been doing research on what's best for my skin because one of the things I found was that the makeup I was using it kept I kept getting like spots around my face and it's not like pimples but just I don't know how to explain it was just spots and it was every time I used makeup so I had to stop using it for a while but then trying to find the right one for my skin and one that I don't have to use all over the face just the areas what I want to hide because I have freckles I don't like my freckles I like freckles in other people I just don't like it in me there's some of the stuff that I um, used one of the ones that I found that was really um, actually my color and it's really worked for me so far is the um, Huda Beauty it's a custard 220N that's been good and I don't have to use a lot of it like I'm wearing it right now I don't know if you can tell but I'm only literally just covering this area which is basically where my freckles are I don't have to use it all over my face and it, and it works well with the color of my skin it's really good that one's the one I've been using before your makeup I use the <laughs> primer like i said i don't know much about makeup so i'm only like just sharing what's worked for me your skin will probably and most likely be different so just it is a journey i've realized it's such a journey with makeup you just kind of have to figure out a way there's no one size fits all or one makeup works for all for eyebrows right didn't even know you had to fill in your eyebrows but apparently such a good thing and i actually like if you fill it in it just looks a little bit fuller and nice um, I've used this for a long time so you can tell by the size of the pencil that I don't have much to go on but it's a brown by um, Maybelline it's that small so at some point I'm gonna have to buy more and for lipstick believe it or not I love this color Mac um, um, this was the most expensive lipstick I've ever brought and there's a funny story to that um, basically I got tricked into buying it because I didn't know what was happening I had gone into the Mac store to try and find a nude color but that's it I just wanted to find it I didn't want to buy it but the girl who was serving me had spent so much time trying to find the color that I felt too bad to walk away without buying it so I just bought it and it was like 15 pounds and it hurt me I was like oh my god but it's actually one of the best her purchases and um, yeah I love it it's called fast play amplified it goes well with my skin and my lips so that's what I use the third thing I did during this lockdown was actually spend some time in my education. I've recently started studying digital marketing, which is way off my field. If you know anything about me, I'm actually a musician. I've been in that world for a long time, so digital marketing is whoo! But I've realized it could actually really go well together because digital marketing is about promoting and I could use that for my music. So you can mix the two blend well together for musical marketing but right now yes i'm studying digital marketing i did invest in myself to to learn that um so i've been doing that something that you could also do right now everyone is in lockdown there's a lot of free resources out there from people giving free webinars or seminars or just little nuggets here and there and i totally suggest sign up for whatever it is you want um, you don't even have to most of them are free you don't even have to go ahead if you don't want to but you can just learn little golden nuggets of knowledge from there learning and growing in my craft and songwriting which is what i'm passionate about um music but there's so much resources out there so you know all you need to really do is google search take the time to search and educate yourself definitely invest in education during this time take it as a blessing and just invest in yourself grow in your craft to grow in knowledge and just to learn something outside of what you would normally do it's great it's a new skill it's a new thing that you can do so definitely go for it the fourth thing I've actually been doing during this lockdown is growing in my faith now if you know anything about me at all is that I love music I love songwriting but above it all I love God 
so I've been growing in the faith I have you know I think maybe it's just me I don't know but during this time there have been seasons there have been times where I have failed where I have doubted where fear has overcome me where I've been feeling discouraged but nevertheless I carried on I've been taking time out the time that I wouldn't have had because of work because of this just taking time out with God, reading his word, worship, studying and actually going into deep study, not just reading the Bible, but really deep studying what I'm reading and what it means for me. One of the habits that I've been picking up, which is, I'm not saying it's there yet, but I really want it to become a lifelong habit is just to wake up and start my day with God just to spend some time in prayer, to spend some time in his word. So that's one of the things I've been working on and it's actually been so beneficial because you start the day off right. And then everything else, you, you know, you ask God to bless everything and to help you be a productive day. And then everything else just seems to fall into place. And another thing, like I said before, education. I've been actually signing up to um, courses about theology. They're not like degrees or a master's or anything. But there are small courses that you can take that will help you grow. So that's one of the things I've been doing um, to help me grow and mature. Because that's my aim at the end of everything. At the end of all this time, when I go back to work. When I'm out of lockdown, I want to come out better than I went in. So I totally you know, encourage you to grow in your faith, to grow, to learn, to seek, and to put learn to put your priorities now in order so that when we do come out of this and when things go back to normal you already have your priorities in order and the fifth thing I've been doing this lockdown which I totally encourage you to do as well is plan I've been realigning my focus to plan my projects in the future I've been planning you know what I'm going to do after all this what I'm going to do with my music what I'm going to do within my church what is it that I want to do but I've also been just planning simple things like a vacation. I think we all at some point will need to will need a vacation. Just need to get out. So just plan those things ahead. Plan and check the times, the people, the prices. Also, one of the things I've been doing because I'm studying marketing is just planning my content calendar, which I will try and explain in a later video what that actually means because it's really helpful for musicians. It's really helpful if you want to just work in your craft and, and, and promote yourself and not just focus on what is to come but you can also just plan what you are going to do in the next couple of weeks how you're going to invest your time so it's really good to just take some time in planning and this is a bonus point that I'm going to share with you something that I encourage you to do something that I've been doing at 6 one spending time with family and friends now I know in lockdown you can't really see your friends but the beauty of having social media the beauty of having the internet is that we can actually remain in touch so one of the things I have been doing is catching up with friends from across the world that I haven't seen in years so just giving them a video call and catching up with them has been really helpful and also just spending time with family just getting to know them a little bit more one thing that I know for a fact is that everybody is changing everybody is growing everybody's evolving you're not the same person that you were a year before and that means if you're not the same person that you were a year before then your parents or your mom or your dad or your siblings they're not the same person they were a year ago so just spending time with them Growing that family bond, growing that relationship is so good. Just being intentional about maybe just setting up a, a movie night or uh, we're going to make cookies together or we're going to do this together. It's just being intentional about it because it helps create memories, it helps you bond and it helps you get to know them better than you did before. And you learn love, patience and grace because being in lockdown with a group of people can sometimes drive you crazy, but that's where you learn love patience and grace so i encourage you and even if you are in lockdown alone just try and be intentional about it just to spend some time with your family whether it's through zoom or if you can visit them being careful your mask on wash your hands so that's it those are the five things plus the bonus point of what i've been doing during lockdown and what you can still do lockdown still hasn't finished and we don't know how long this is going for i hope we don't go back into lockdown but it might be a thing so always be prepared you know always use the time that you've been given wisely i hope you've enjoyed this please just share with me what you have been doing during this lockdown on the comments below i would love to hear from you that's it from me for now. Don't forget to subscribe, to like, to share. And thank you for watching. Bye.